Hello, I'm Philip from runthinkshoelive.com. This is Level Design Academy Practice 12. Now I'm calling it Practice 12. I don't know if it's exactly 12 practices that I've been doing, but I just decided to go, because I want to number them. So if there's only like 10 before, then we jump one. And if there's like 15 before, then we, you know, it's like 11A and 11B or something. So there we go. Now. I'm just going to make sure that this is um, working. And then I'm going to introduce. And it should all be. It should all be working. It should all be working. So, hello to everybody. Hi, Race. Looks like you've just arrived. Hi, Blue Shift. Samson. Who else is here? I'm not sure who else is here. There's a few others, but. We don't seem to be live, or maybe because I sort of set it to sort of start. When I started, it didn't start. Who knows? I'm not even sure, to be honest. Waiting for 4 p.m. So, I'm a little confused. I've learned a lesson here. Not really sure. This is very strange. Okay, so this is what happens when you have streams. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. Should be live now though. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're live. We are live. So I'll close that. Yeah, we're live. So I'm Philip, as I've already mentioned. I run a website called runthinkshootlive.com. You probably all know about it. It lists and reviews single player maps and mods for the Half-Life series of games. In conjunction with a person called Nkenke, Nkenken, Nkenken, <laughs> nobody knows how to pronounce it. Um, also known as Unk or Unk Don. Uh, he's been teaching me how to map and uh, I've taken the li liberty of streaming all of my practice sessions. So I've done nothing outside of the live streams. Now, yesterday I did a fundraising stream, um, which lasted about, uh, I finished at 9.30, and I started at 2, so it lasted seven and a half hours, and I'm still tired from that. Um, and at the end of that, I did some mapping. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna sort of carry on from there. Now, um, this is Gold Source. If you're curious why it's Gold Source, it's because I love Half-Life, and I've got this nostalgic feeling about it, and. You know, I keep thinking how much I love the game and I just want to be able to make these things. And Black Mesa is um, is like a dream to me. I'd love to go to a place like this. Industrial bases, military bases, it's just like a huge, huge interest for me. Uh, so I want to make something like that and I've got, um, I've got lots of ideas for that. So um, in addition to wanting to make maps, I've kind of been creating this alterniverse is what I've called it about these three facilities, Black Mesa Research Facility, White Mountain Long-Term Testing Facility, and Deep Canyon Storage Facility. And I kind of got these ideas about mixing them all in. In addition to that, I've kind of got some set architectural ideas. I want to use ramps instead of, um, uh, ramps in instead of stairs. I've got this security area idea that should allow me to implement lots of storytelling modes without having the player to move around the um, NPCs in games. Uh, I really want to work on doors. Doors really fascinate me about you know how you can use them to move players and you know stuff like that. And in addition, um, I've got an, an idea that I haven't talked to anybody about and you know that will come soon enough. So yesterday we were working on this, let's have a look uh, here. And what's important about this is that this is really just me building. I'm, I'm not particularly, uh, I haven't checked my email, Jacob, in the last five or 10 minutes. So if you've sent it in the last five or 10 minutes, then, then probably, but I haven't seen it. I'm not, I'm not I'm, you know, I was preparing for this. So, um, so there. 
that's that. So this is not particularly me designing a mod or building anything that I think I might release. I mean, maybe, but it's more about just learning and building and playing. So what I learned yesterday is that I don't think I need player clips when I've got a funk wall. Hi Andy, or morning to everybody. I don't think I need that. Um, and I don't know, to be honest, how how I would now move, find these. Um, I suppose I can just move it. What the heck happened there? And there's that. There's the there's the player clip. Well, I can delete that, I suppose, and move this back. Anyway, and now it doesn't fit. Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it? What happened there? These things are always so funny to me. All right, you sort of do these things and then they don't sort of work out anymore. So I just need to fix this because that's clearly not right. There we go. That should be okay now. Got that kind of funny overlap in the middle, but it doesn't really matter. Now, we spent a bit of time on this yesterday, doing sort of splitting these up, and I'm going to have to sort of do that again. That's not really going to work out. So, so let's just sort of save that. Now, what I want to do today was um, this particular ramp that I built yesterday is just unrealistic. It's unrealistic because it's just too steep. And one of the first things I want to do today is I want to... Um, what shall I make that? I don't know. Uh, wait, you can only you can only make it. Hmm. Alright, there we go. So I'll just make this huge room. There we go. Um one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to experiment with, with ramps and angles because I really want to get I really want to get that right and I've got my diary and my pen and, and I think that I should make a note of proportions and things because we know we know how um, hi Matty we know how stairs should be built I mean that's very clear stairs you know I, I can't remember because I don't make stairs is it like 12 forward 8 up that's like a standard size for, for stairs Put ramps. Okay, so what you're telling me is that I should be using funk illusionaries with player clips. That's is is that what I'm I'm understanding from that sentence, Herbie? So let's start with some now here's a here's a question. Is it possible to open multiple instances? Yes, it is. Now that's interesting. So what I was what I was curious about was, is it possible for me to drag and drop? So now I don't know if this is a question related to um, Jack or whether it's a question related to. If I control C, whether it's Jack or whether it's a relation to games in general. If I sort of pop in here, I can, look, I can copy and paste. Well, I don't know where it is though. Do I have to enter it? What, what's, what, where is it? There it is. Holy schmoly. There it is. It's huge, isn't it? All right, well, that's super interesting. All right, okay. So, Funk Illusionary with a player clip, you can shoot through it. Funk Wall, they can't shoot through it, but they can't walk through it either. That's good to know. Right then, so I've learned something today, which is that you can simply uh, copy something from one and move it into another. Now that's going to be important because I'm hoping to have some prefabricated things that I build and I use again and again and again, almost like copy and paste. And I didn't know whether that was going to be possible. And I think that's going to be really useful. For example, perhaps in the case of, of once I've got my ramp 
organized, what I will simply do is I'll just make a huge one and then I can copy it into the, the map and clip it where I don't want it. That might be, and then I've got the angle right, bing bang bosh. That's gonna be my sort of aim. Although maybe I'll get to the point where I'm just fast enough to just make it. I just need to get the dimensions right. So what I wanna do here is um, this is huge isn't it there's a prefab system in the editor okay all right so at some point I'll need to explore that then maybe I'll add it to my list of things that Don can teach me next time probably along here somewhere okay so what does that mean? All right, I'll, I'll ask Don. You know, it, not that I don't trust you to tell me. It's just that um, you'll be able to, you know, it's voice and he can just sort of answer me and stuff like that. Right then, so let's, let's, let's make, well clearly it doesn't need to be that big. We just need to get angles, don't we? So why don't we just clip this, say? Eh? We just clip this. Um, What we could do first, though, is we'll just put it in the corner. Actually, we won't put it in the corner. We'll just put it from there. And then we can just clip after that, can't we? Yeah, exactly. That's what, that's what I meant about, you know, um, doing it like that. There we go. All right. So we'll just good. What's going on there? Oh, I must have copied. Oh, I do that a lot, don't I? There we go. So what I'm hoping to be able to do is simply. Uh, Let's put him here, just there in fact, and then just test different um, different angles. That's that's what I'm going to do for the next sort of ten fifteen minutes. Now, why is this? I wonder if I should manipulate this just to be it's because I made the rooms just too big I mean I recognize that That's, let me maybe fix that shall we that was my fault for just picking 99 which was a bit silly Alright, so hi so hi Darren. Yeah, no, we're we're live. We are super live. Su not just live but super live. So this is me just fixing my mistakes. Or not at all if Don's got me so well trained about thinking about grid sizes now. So he should as well. I'm sure it's going to save me a lot of trouble in the future. Always better to get it all right, right from the beginning. Right, ceiling, 
Okay, there we go. And that's way too big, but we're not worried about that for now, anyway. All right, good. Yeah, it's um afternoon for me, but I'm good, thank you. So the one that we're going to be spending most of the time in, I think, is this one. So we can just probably build that up. So here we go. Let's just make another block now. Oops. And we'll do this. Okay. Good. Right. So we'll uh, let's just. I think we might. Okay. We'll, we'll stick with that. Texture doesn't matter, does it? And we'll make that. Okay, we'll just have a quick look at that. Yep, so we've got that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to clip it. I'm going to clip it at a different angle. And we're going to do the same again. I'm going to start with the same. Good. Gonna move it though. Okay. Now we move the wrong one. same size that might be easier what we got we got six all right so, right good OS first timer he's got two L's in Philip god damn copy on that And we're going to sort of jump by three. And we're going to do one more. And then we'll see how we, we feel about those. And then we'll click that one. So, there we go. What did the monkey have in there? All right, we need to undo that because we were working on the wrong one. All right. I'm gonna pull that down a bit. Bear with me a moment. Pull out of it, I think. Okay, sorry. Um, don't want you to see top of my head. So there we go. We're about to do that. So we press enter, and we got that. Good, fine. So let's save this as um, ramp angle test. Um, will it, I, th I think it'll be bright enough if I play it. I don't need to add any lights, do I? We'll export the map. We will compile it. It's going to take ages to compile. Actually, it's taking longer than I expected. And then we will run it.
way too many Phillips. I will switch over down here for you to see. I should be able to go control G. There we go. You should. Oh, it stopped. Well, that was a bit strange. Um, I'm just making sure that you can see. Yes, you can see. Right, so here we go. Map, ramp, and or test. All right, it's not very bright. So this one is is this is like. Goldilocks and the three bears. I mean, coming down here is a boom, boom, boom. All right, this one feels. Uh, it's still a bit of that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump back in into Jack. I'm just going to add some lights because it's just. I <laughs> can't see it very well. Um, There we go, just to Boom, mm, save it, F5, recompile. All right, good. Back in Half-Life. All right, there we go. So, I mean, it's not, it's not supposed to be beautiful, but at least we can see the angles. So, I think we're all agreed. This is just too steep. It's just, you come down it, and you're bouncing when you come down. This one, feels a bit smoother going up, but you're still bouncing on the way down. This one, almost some feelings, almost no bouncing. Difference coming up. Hmm. First one is way too steep. Completely agree. That's what we got at the moment. Hmm. I'm wondering if this one is maybe too steep as well, isn't it? It's just like in reality. I mean, that would be a great exercise. A bit of hill running. Always used to love a bit of hill running. I think we've got to get rid of those first two. Those first two just don't remember. Yeah, the height of one floor, you're absolutely right. I mean, that that is just not high enough for one floor. I think I think our answer is the second is the second one really, isn't it? You know, I mean I can't can I fit down here? No, I can't. That's a shame. It'd be nice to sort of stand next to that. I should have been a bit cleverer about that. I mean that looks be about the right height. So I think that we're all in agreement that that one's nice, but it's just not steep enough. It it would mean a huge section every time you want to change the floors. And okay, so. We're sort of going to aim for this second one. That's how we're going to we're going to work. Right. Let's get back into back into Jack. So this one, this is the one we want, and 
it is it is ninety six white right. So I need to write this down. I'm not sure I'm gonna. It's eight hundred and thirty two long by one sixty high, and I'm sure that the um, um, the mathematicians or geometrists amongst us will be able to tell me the angle immediately. And if I now open, boom, if I go here in this one, control C, let's get back in here and control V. Let's minimize this for a while. So we open up that. I suppose I could have simply done that. Uh, you've got to find it. Where is it? Is it anyway? <laughs> no, it's not. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and actually put it into into the map and see how it works. And the first thing we're going to notice is that we're in big trouble, which is what we expected. I can't say that it wasn't totally unexpected. So I'm going to have to, I won't do it now, but I'm going to have to reassess how that works. Yeah, the uh, the other one and is um, the other one. I think I closed it, but uh, the ramp test room is here, so you can sort of see the ramps here. We sort of all felt that that sort of third one there, that was sort of that. So I'm just seeing if I can include the new ramp in the location and what effect it has you know what I'm going to do no what are you going to do Philip I'm going to put them side by side oh, are you really Philip I am oh, that's very brave of you I know I'm that kind of guy I'm a brave guy. Now hopefully it doesn't create a horribly world, won't it? So I'll need to do that. Alright, many. And I suppose that I should have done my ramp testing first. But I just built these ramps and it's like whatever geezer, whatever. So Alright. So we're calling this PCT thirty. This was supposed to be Philip Corridor test. The PTT PCT was supposed to be about corridors. But it sort of quickly developed onto that. So here we go. All right, see you later, race. All right, now while that's doing that over there, I had a, had a, some thoughts last night about this. I was, I'm actually quite happy with the way they turned out, but I was thinking about how I could make them look even better. Well, not that they look great, but how I could make them look better. 
And one of the things I thought about, right, and I don't know if this is feasible or not. I'm just going to try it very quickly. Just to clip it. Like that. Just that little angle. And I was going to try and do it on the sides as well. Anyway, so let's get back into here. Let me switch over for um, the game. Get back in here. And then we're going to go into that PCT30. All right. So now we've got the two ramps and that sort of side by side in them. It's quite a significant difference, isn't it? This is the original. Boom. And then this is the other one. That's much better, isn't it? There's still, there's still a bit of a jump. I mean, when you're, what do you think? Okay. Wondering if I should just change that, just make it a little bit more shallow. Yeah, I think I will. I don't, I don't really, I don't really want to be changing this. Once I get this, I want to get it right. Now I could put some stairs there, I suppose, but right. Back in the jack. Ooh, as you said. Uh, let's go back to ramp angle. We kind of felt that this one was the one we just used. It was pretty good. We did. We quite liked it. But, so hi Zeke. So let's uh, drop these. Um, What about that? Sort of walk between these ones. So let's make a new one, shall we? Make a new one. And boom. Got to get this right, peeps. We've got to get this right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to clip it again. But we'll clip it here. Get them in the correct order though. Now, other mappers can tell me if, if, if it's true for them, but I find myself holding my breath quite a lot. Now, I do have that problem in real life. I do. I have apnea when I sleep, and I've spent years training myself to hold my breath quite a lot. So, so this is uh, just for Zeke here. This is a um, this is a ramp test. We're just working on this idea of getting the the ramp at the right angle, and uh, yes, I would. Why did it ask me that? So that's really what we're doing there. Just trying to. Um, Make sure that I've got the right angles, because I don't want to have to be, you know, making rooms again and again and again. So now we can um, drop back into into the game. 
and ramp angle test. Right, there we go. So initially we, we thought, yeah, we like this one. We do, we quite like this one. But coming down, there is a bit of a jump in it. This one just seemed too, too smooth, too shallow. This one works quite nicely. Okay, so should we should we do that one? That one? That's only like one though. That would be the height of a room, a bit more. So I'm going to have to work on that now. It doesn't mean that all of the ramps will be like this, because I can easily like cut them in half and I th actually don't I? I don't have a bit of practice at that very quickly. So back into game, back into the editor. Um, close this. Let's uh, let's move these around. And then this one, let's copy it, spin it around. some point I think I'm going to group these and is there a way how can I make them invisible um, is there a way to make them invisible no but you know what I am going to do I'm just going to stick him up in here because I want him out of the way when I'm doing it. All right, there we go. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get to an area. We're trying to halfway. This is the halfway spot. No, I didn't ask to do that. Get lost. That didn't work out quite right. Worry not though. Because the plan now... Hi sheep! The plan now is with this one we're going to clip it and boom. With this one, we are going to copy because I say so. And then here, we are going to clip it. Boom. And then this one, we are going to extend it. My apologies. Right. Worry about the... Yeah. I can't say... I, was, I have to admit, I was a little bit nervous about this... Um, ransomware thing. 
but my um my inter my software it my internet security came out which is komodo i use komodo sort of came out and says you know komodo protects you from you know cryware or whatever it's called so i'm oh, sorry turn off the editor back into game and restart right so we've got those in the air thank goodness they don't fall down through gravity and this is our original bum, 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 bum. And then this is our ramp. There we go. Half the size. Okay, the textures are on, on a line, but, but I'm okay with that. I mean, I know that it's much, much bigger than a a, um, a set of stairs would take up. But that seems to work well for me. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And I think that there can be some interesting gameplay elements here. So you know you could just sort of be you know somebody hiding down there, and I can put some, I can put some, um, ra uh, rails that you can see through. Some some maybe some walls that you can't. I think I think there's quite a few options. You know, glass. Sometimes glass you can see, but you can't sh shoot through rails. You can you know. I think there might be a few interesting things that we can do. So, should we just extend this idea a little bit more? Let's just sort of take it out into the middle. Let's ungroup them. Okay. Let's... Let's copy this. To here. Bring this up. And now... Here's where things I'm going to need to make sure that I've done it properly because I can't just can't just copy it uh, sorry I can't just stretch it because hmm, that won't work will it no I wanted it the other way a bit but what I could do is I could just lift it couldn't I to here like that Yep. And then if I wanted to, I can just build up a, a block here. Like that. That doesn't seem right though, does it? That seems way too big. What's gone wrong there? Or is it okay? Well, the first thing that's gone wrong is that uh, that shouldn't be there. That should be there. And yep, it goes through the rest of the wall. But we could... Um, Bring that back, can we? Just trying to get my head around the idea of how is this going to work in. You know, a bigger. Bigger, something's gone wrong, isn't it? What do you think's gone wrong? Why is that so big now? 
It's not, is it? It's the same. It's the... Yeah, something has gone wrong. Stop arguing with me. This is the strange thing. This is one, and now this is the big one. Let's get rid of it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get rid of that one. Let's get, let's copy this one to here. It should be that simple, shouldn't it? I think it might be that simple, but I've just made it more complicated than it needed to be. Right. So, this one, 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 this one. Can all move over here. And then we're going to... Do that. We're going to take that one. Sorry, peeps, I'm just trying to build this... Equivalent of like a spiral staircase. Right, and then we can just copy that over there. Right, should we see what it's like? What, really, you want me to release my map files? Why? You don't want to play. You don't want to play with this, do you? Hmm. Let's hope that they find them. Don't think they will, but let's hope. Right. Back in here. Back into the game. Restart. So, here we go now. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, I can. Can I squeeze down here? Oh, you son of a monkey. Okay, so <laughs> that didn't work out. All right, well, I mean, maybe maybe I will. I mean, it's not like I've got anything to hide. Just that I didn't think anybody would be interested. I mean, I could, I suppose. So, let's... Um, to go there okay okay yeah um, I've got no problem doing that I just that uh, didn't think anybody might would would any really body want to pl play them I mean you can't there's nothing you can learn about them Right. Back in game. Restart. Right, so we've got that rubbish up the top there. So this is how it's this is how it would work if I needed to build sort of big stairs. So you pop up here, pop up here, you pop up here, you pop up here. There we go. I mean that's got to get you up a bunch of floors. 
Now what I need to work out is if this is the right height. This is not going to be the right height for um, a proper a proper floor. So what needs to happen is I just need to extend that, make that that ramp a bit bigger, and then decide on how best to you know put rails along the edge and stuff like that. And then that can be like a uh, a um, yeah, you see, there should be another one there. That's pretty high. Definitely. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I need to know the height of, of one floor. How high should most of these floors be? Because I'd like to use two of them per floor. That's that's the idea and I'd like to build up like a two of these okay don't need to play around with that but if somebody can tell me the height of most floors that would that would that would help me quite a lot I think One twenty eight minimum, and this one is one twenty eight, so that one would be the minimum. Standard is around one sixty, then I need one sixty. Now, what's the height of this one? One ninety two, and this one, one twenty eight. Okay. Right. So now, of course, as soon as I do this, I change the angle. Obviously. What I'm trying to decide there. Okay. So in the the height of the textures, which makes sense, the height of the textures is 128 yeah yeah I don't want stairs though I, I want something else and you're right, I'm kind of reinventing the wheel in a, in a way, but it's going to be my wheel. So, you know, if I can get this right now, then I'll be much happier. making this bigger obviously
even though it's just way too high, but all right. So So this one, this is now 160 high, and that's the kind of length it's going to be required to do it in one go to get to one floor. So now, and this one is 128. So maybe, maybe I have a couple of different prefabs. This is the 128 one. And this one is yeah you see what this will turn out to be is this can be this can be the 128 set here And then I can Sorry. Here we go. So that needs to go here. It needs to be this this high. Definitely feel that there's a some interesting things to be done with this. I mean, I can I can hollow some of these out. I can make little little traps. You know, like this can be hollowed out. I've got some ideas for what I'm going to call a sentinel. Nothing like the sentinel from the Matrix, but more like the the I say the real sentinel from 2001. Um, so I feel it's worth me doing this now to get this right. I'm not worried about the textures. So something went wrong there. Okay, what went wrong there? Oh, something's gone completely wrong here, isn't it? Look. Hmm. Hello in Russia. What's happened? has happened something strange
All right, that seems to be better. Hey, Phenomeny. Right, should we say, let's save this and pop in and, and play that and see what we get. So this is a ramp test and we're more or less finished. Um, so this is what we currently got. And to be honest, that was that was quite good. I mean, that sort of worked. Now I know you're thinking, well, why don't you just jump down like that? Well, because I put things in the way. Um, so maybe I'm just being absolutely stupid. Okay, well, we've got plenty of light in there now. So this is the block. This is how it would work. We would go up, we go up, we go up. We go up, and we go up, and we get to here, and we don't fall off. Um, that's going to be my my standard block. You can run down it. Good. Now, in addition, over there, sorry. In addition. That doesn't seem right, but this is the 128, and this is the 160. So I'm going to be building. That is the in one go, the 128. Over here is the the block, and I'll be building one of these for. The 160 ones, and I'll be adapting them. Boom. Right, back to the editor. Okay, so. Oh, cancel that. What I want to do now is I want to go back to my. Uh, good. And I love how. What have we got? And now what I want to do is I want to take some of these and just copy them over. And then when I'm shown how to use the prefab. Let's come out of it. Put that in there. Here, right up here somewhere though. Here it is. Hi, Don. All right, so you're just sort of um, catching me doing some ramp testing. So you're back home now, is that right? Glad to hear you had a safe journey back. And this is the 128 one. So I would need to sort of extend that if I were if I were doing that. So clearly I'm going to need to sort of make this uh, this area bigger. One thing I could do though, which might um, make things a little bit more interesting is I could take those pieces perhaps. I, I want to learn a little bit more about triggers. Definitely want to get that working on. And I need to do some more work about entities. Now, 
what I think I might want from you is some guided practice about using entities in, in some ways, because I think it's one of these, imagine somebody gave you a paintbrush and said, look, you can, you can paint a line and then you can paint a surface with it. Until you see some of the possibilities, you think, oh my God, I, don't, I didn't know I could do that. So, so what things can I do with it? I know I can open doors and I know I can use them in fans, um, but maybe what other things that I can do so maybe maybe a little bit more work on entities. I definitely need to re uh, review the work that we've done already. Uh, I want to learn about this displacement things because I want my walls to be a lot more um, interesting than just straight walls. Those are the sort of the two things that are on my top of my list. And at the same time, talking about prefabs because I'm going to be wanting to use prefabs. So I can copy these. I've just learned that you can have different things open and that is just like so cool. Paste those. Because that's going to be like a big thing for me, I think. Oh, okay then. So somebody was telling me yesterday that it was called displacements. But basically I want to make my walls look all wibbly wibbly. I don't just want to have like these basic walls that that I've had in the past, the straight ones. Okay, yeah, non. I don't. Okay, you say non-rectangular brushes. I mean, just want to make my um, walls look as if they were real, you know. So what I'm doing here is I'm just just playing with the idea that input output what you're talking about there Triggers and targets. Yeah, I definitely want to do this target. So, I mean, for example, let me just rush over to here. Basically, I've got a, like a bunch of things. This is, this is, there'll be a button here on the wall. This button will call a guard in my security area at the top, which we're going to build. The guard will come along. Actually, the button, for example, this is just how I see things working. The button will turn on a light and a guard will come along. He will then say a scripted thing. Okay, so you want me to move the gate the gate across. Okay, please stand back. And then the gate moves across. And then he says, okay, you can walk forward now. I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, um, that, that that's, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. I'm just, I'm assuming that's not gonna be too hard. And then the gate comes across and you start walking up and he says, hang on while I open a door and then he opens the door 
I mean, that's that's what I want to be able to do from pressing the one button, and I want to learn how to do that because I've got lots of things that are going to need that. Um, so, so yeah, so, so yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm not expecting you to say, you know, it's just a couple of things here. I, I recognise that. But I wanted to give you an example of what I want to do with the triggers. Um, and I know that that's going to be, you know, like a number of things. We, I heard you t tell somebody not long ago it's about multi-triggers or multi-something. And I, and I recognise that. But I'm sort of getting to that sort of point now where I want to, I want to put those things into operation. Um, so, so yeah, you asked me something. Yeah, as far as this sort of thing that we're talking about here, like this, the word displacement or solid brushes, what I figured was I was just going to have to make like a bunch of brushes and then just put them together and just make them look not straight. Now, I have no idea from a technical point of view, A, how difficult that is, and B, perhaps much more importantly, whether that's the right way to do it, you know, because would that cause problems with... Um, Sorry. With ah, sorry. Optimization, for example. You know, is that that like a, a bad way of doing it or So here's a bit of texture work. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. And and what I figured was that, you know, when you built one of these things, you saved it in a file, and then you just dragged it into the next one, and you muck about with it a little bit, instead of starting afresh. That's what I thought would be the way that you know I mean you know correct me if I'm wrong obviously all right that's why I'm interested in this idea of the prefat because Oh, I really like the look of these um, rooms that have kind of got the, the basic rock with the, 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 the concrete overlays and stuff like that. That's, that's something that I want to, you know, spend a bit more time on. This doesn't look right, does it? Okay. So, all of that for nothing. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Yeah, okay, I mean, 
Right, obviously you guys are chatting about that. Right then, so this didn't work out at all, did it? Is the problem that... So, how are we gonna solve this one? I think I'm maybe going around this the wrong way, really. Maybe I should just be bringing the floor up. I know everything else will have to come up then, but... So these all need to be... Right, so we have to go back a little bit here. First of all, all of these need to be made funk illusionaries, don't they? Because, wow, you just never get enough done. Um, because I want to be able to shoot through them. Is that right? Now, you know how um, in Excel you do something and you want to do it again, you press F4. I don't suppose there's anything like that in uh, in Jack, is there? I suppose I could do that, can I? Yeah, okay. Okay, so now they're all funk illusionary, which means I'll have to have a player clip. I recognise that. Um, they're all over the place now. That's fine. So what I want to do is I want to bring this floor up. Floor needs to be there. So, if I select them in the 3D view, as long as, as, as well as my, oh, I might have to worry about the player clip later, but I'll just put them up. Right. Okay. So now, Back into here. I'm gonna move my oh, what is what is going on there? Okay. So I'm probably gonna have to manipulate these all again, aren't I?
So we've got two done, in case you're wondering. We've got two because Irby said to me yesterday that to get the textures to line up so that they're both um, at the end, I needed to do that. And it, and it, and it worked, it did. So if I go here, and I get my textures, if I go left, good, they're too high though, so let me bring in the player clip, So where do they need to go? Do they need to go here? They do. And then this comes down. Right, okay. Yeah, I tried ages to get the texture sort of working and oh and look, it's not even the right. Okay, this is maybe my mistake. It needs to be that wide and then the Good, and now that's not going to look right. So, back in here, no. Yep, in here. Get to the right. No. That was what we wanted. On funk out I stretch uh four hundred in a mat. Okay, so maybe maybe I'm really and now I've kind of ruined the Okay, so keeping this play clip out of the way might help. I've got the edges working nicely here. Good. So I suppose Tell me if I'm wrong, but I mean, do I want to overlap it? I mean, in this case, I could just go down here and I could just have it in front here. Is that what we want? Okay, all right. So what, what I've got there is I've got it a bit higher, or it looks like a bit higher. Okay, yeah. So this is just taking way too much time for something that should be really quick, I suppose but because I moved the height of the floor. All right then, so now I just need to get these back. Let's get the player clip out of the way. Let's put this back in. That player clip goes into the wall. I don't think I want that. How about that? They're too high. Son of a son of a bitch. We're still trying to get some work done on the on those funny windows, aren't we? What? Why won't it go in? What was that all about? Okay, so, yeah, I put them offset simply because I was worried that trying to um, select them was a was a, a problem. What is going on there? What? Why? Okay, because it was down to. And now this one won't line up anymore. I don't understand that. Sometimes these... Oh, shut up.
Okay. All right, so that one looks okay. Then we just got two more to do. Got to change the color of these lights. Nobody liked the color of the lights. I think that's quite quite right as well. Those those lights don't look that great. I accept that. Drop them down. Turn around. Okay, they overlap, which is silly. Good. So here's my problem. How do I select my my clip now? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was sort of thinking. I don't want to offset them too much because, as Don says, people will notice. But now I can't. I can't seem to select it easily. Okay, so that seems to have selected it there. Okay. A tad thinner and a tad higher. Okay, for those non-natives, a tad means a little bit okay right there we go so we're going to get rid of those I've decided that I don't like those ones in the corner um, What else? I don't know if there's an easy way of... I'm going to take my time to do this because I think it might be worth it later. Sorry if you're talking to me and I'm not responding because I'm trying to select all of these. Because we want to change the colour and intensity. Yeah, what you guys are talking about, I don't know, but something that Jack doesn't do right is that all of them we think so so now I want to group them don't I and then if I go to properties no so if I Oh, you're kidding me. What happened? Have I got to change all of the lights individually? Edit groups. No. Um, so, here we go. Is there a way for me to edit the properties of the lights? Do I have to ungroup them and only select the lights? I bet I do, don't I? I'll wait f until I hear back from you, though. What I want to have a quick look at now though is I need to put the ramp in. So yes I have to select each of the lights individually. That's what you're telling me.
Okay, so that's really what we have to do. We have to deselect the lights and all right, just want to get my curve, my arch in here. Oh, what happened? It looks like I copied it. There we go. And do some texture work. Excellent. Right, I was sort of working on doing this, but uh, okay, so we go back in there. So now I need to ungroup them. Or is there a way of deselecting deselecting the things? If I click on the that light fitting, does that deselect the light? No. I w I'm trying to find. Is there a way of deselecting the textures? Because essentially, what what we've got here is we've got these. I know it's a bit weird for you to see that, but the that thing there. Is there a way for me to do that? Oh, excuse me. Click control. Yeah, I tried click control and click, but it didn't work. This is me control, click. And when I select it again, it let it select. Right, click ignore groups. So where's ignore groups one of these things is it, it, tools view ungroup ignore groups ig button ig button ignore groups Right, so now I just select all of these. Do I make a new group? Wasn't it Control W? Okay, I don't. Now I need to know: Do I make a new group? Because I, I don't want to have to do this every time I want to change the colours. So, what am I doing? A new group? Or not? Okay, ignore group button, deselect the non lights. Okay, so now I've been doing it wrong then. So now what do I do? Do now I make a new group? No, I can't make a new group. Fine. All right, we've been on this sort of orangey. Should we just give it a? Yes. I can't make a new group. And holy balls. This group. No. 
because when I try and go right, when I right click, I can't sort of make a groove anymore. Anyway, that's what we got now. We'll worry about that in future. Oh, you think that's too many lights? It just seems like a right amount of lights for this sort of area. No? All right, whatever. So now what we're doing is we're going to do a little bit more work. Um, I'll tell you what we could do very quickly, just very quickly. We could take that Funk Illusionary and put it... Oh, we caught, damn it. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure you'll tell me soon. It's not going to look fantastic, but we're not worried about that just for yet. Um, all right, that's good for now. And the last thing we want to do before we save it and uh, move on is we need to, we've got, a big, we've got a bit of a leak here. Duh, we've got a bit of a leak. Oh yeah. So we're gonna need to bring in a, um, a ramp. And for now, we're going to select this one. Close that. Like that. I need to turn it around. Good. I need to put it in place. Okay, how are we doing? Not good. Now, one of the problems is that this roof is now going to be completely bleh because the angle's been changed. Shut up. All right. So all of my windows are going to be in the wrong place. Oh, look at that. <laughs> all that work yesterday. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, um, this is going to be a disaster. What we got? We've got 20 minutes left. Right. Here we go. Is there a way of selecting side? Why can't I group them? Okay, I can't group them, so calm down. No, 
that didn't work. Turn off ignore groups, okay. Right, so do this, select them, select inside, group them, copy them, jump back in here. So this was the sort of the one of the plans. Okay, so that's not working out the way I expected, but there we go. Hmm. I think I want to finish this now. I was planning to sort of stop, but I think I should finish. Bear with me, I'm not sure it's obvious what I'm trying to do here, but... Sixteen. Let's get that all to the end. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to organise that again, won't we? Please bear with me. Well, or not. I mean, if you're not enjoying it, then don't stay. I mean, that's that's definitely clear. So, this now gets us down to this level. Okay, let's just try and put this into some context.
is just one option by the way I'm, I might go with a big ramp don't look at the same level do they? Maybe they do. That can come down. Even lower. This is this height. This is this height. be a bit of a hold here don't you okay So oh. we got all of that, all of that, that probably took like half an hour yesterday, that was all kind of wasted. So let's save this as 31 and then we'll just have a quick look at it, shall we? Okay, there was a hole. Son of a gun. Son of a head crab. Um, I'm going to just look for the obvious places. Not if you're sort of saying, "Oh, but Philly, it's up here." It's not because this is all. This is all up here. It'll it'll be. It'll be there. Is that the solution? Let's try. Oops, sorry. F5. Run it again. Oh, still a big hole. So I need to load um, that point and look for big red lines. Interesting, doesn't seem to be any big red lines this side. Ah! No, this is outside. Maybe it's something to do with over here. No. Here. Ah, oh, you stupid me. Okay. Let's unload the map. There's still a gap though. I know I've blocked up all my windows, but I just want to make sure. Right, let's do it again. 
Let's do it again. No. And this map's not even particularly complicated, is it? raise this up. Does that leave me with a hole somewhere? Okay, so Right. If I just funnel, bring that over there. Just bring that all the way down there then. No. Oh, this is pretty good. Don't have a window on the void, right? Good question, Don. Good question, Donny Don Don. But I think I probably screwed up up here let's probably look, look there's a void immediately there's a so there's one of the problems it's probably like 20 so that's that that looks like it's so they're overlapping so there's there should be no holes there Right now, any there's no there's no windows up here. I know that that's all all horrible, but just trying to make. I'm starting again with all that. But yeah, you could be right. Maybe those things open to the void. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe the windows sort of open to the void there, perhaps. Just try that, shall we? Um, control S, F5, run it. Okay. So we're looking for these lines, aren't we? I mean, it's got to be around here because that's where we...
Okay. So I'm supposed to be following the red ones here. Yeah? It's the red ones that. Well, I can't see any red ones in here, can I? I mean, I haven't touched anything in here for for days. Nothing down here. And I've only been working in this corner. So. Oh, please stand by. What happened there? Hmm, what happened there? Um. Hmm, okay. I, don't, I, I must have turned it on by accident. Sorry about that. Hopefully it hasn't been on for long. So, I'm just running around here, just looking for these red... Um, these red lines within this area. But I can't see any. But I'd see it within. Within the map itself, though, wouldn't I? somebody should make it on the uh, next editor is like a button that you can just move your mouse and follow the lines automatically right, let's have a good look in here have I I think I better turn it off because it's just Yeah, so let me just delete, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. I mean, that all looks, that all looks good. Good, good, not good, good, but. Okay.
Whew. So the point file would be visible though, wouldn't it? got to be well so in here Oh, sorry for not talking, but... So there's something, there's obviously... What's that? That must be the wall. Below. has to be higher clearly but how high does it have to be just to there I think all right and okay Let me save it. Do I need to export the map before I? I better. I don't know whether the point file comes from the. So we'll have a quick look around to see whether we can see any obvious lines, any. Can't see any red lines, can we? Or any lines at all? No. So There's a lot of stuff going on there though, isn't there? Alright then, let's compile it. Wow. Right, so um entity light entity light entity light so basically i'm sorry i probably shouldn't have closed that um basically there's a few lights outside of the area. Is that what it's telling me? Is that what it is? There. Are you freaking kidding me?
all of that trouble for that one lie. Oh, okay. So when you've got, so there's a big lesson here, when you've got lights outside, that it screws it up, but you've got brushes outside. I don't understand the difference. Okay, doesn't matter if I understand the difference or not. Let's just see if it works. No. Light entity. Is there not a way to to just use those those things and, and find it? So it's minus thirteen hundred and minus thirty two thousand. So how do I find a point then? Minus thirteen hundred there. Minus thirty two thousand. Well, they, they, they can't go map, map, go coordinates. Oh, let's close some of these. Well, I've only got two, two coordinates. There we go, look. When I break it, I break it, eh? So shall I just... So go to coordinates. Oh, okay. Right. So it's not thirty two thousand. Well, that's right. So where is it then? It's this one, is it? Let me do that again. Does it matter which which window I'm in? This is interesting, huh? Here. There it is. You son of a bitch. What the fucking hell is that? Can't delete it. Okay, now it's gone. Now load the. Right, so we want to do it on a top view. I'm in the top view, I go to map, go coordinates, boom, and it goes there. There's nothing here though, is there? Right, okay. So I'm going to save it. 
I'm going to F5 it and I'm going to run it again. Oh, it's still telling me that there's a hole. And it's the same number. All right then, so, sent us all the view on that, fine. All right, so now I load the point file. Again. Now that looks like a big hole somewhere, doesn't it? That, I don't think it is, but... Could it be that that texture is causing problems? Well, this looks like a candidate. Yeah, I think we found it. Yes, but that wasn't there before. Right, so this is a wall that... Still, still not happy. Okay. Let's try that. Wow. Uh, looks like it. Looks like it. Oh boy. That's hard work, huh? Right, let's switch back into the game. There we go. And so, oh, we didn't turn those into, f um, and they're on the wrong side anyway. But um, they stop me from. They stop me from walking fine, but well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, that sort of works. Oh, okay. Look, we need to get that part out. So now we've lost all of the windows down there, but and that's dropped down a bit. Okay, so we have to lift that up. Um, the lights a bit dim up. That, that sort of seems to work out quite well. That sort of colour. Hey, bollocks. 
So that sort of worked out a bit better. Um, I was going to make these a bit smaller. All right, let's restart again. A quick look out through the window. So that's okay. I haven't done anything properly with that, right? Okay, so here we go. This is our new area. So we've got the curve. That looks quite good. We've got some lights in there, which is more luck than judgment. So, obviously, oh, sorry about that. So this was just the test of the, the rampways. Okay, yep. Might have to build a number of different things. Obviously there's gonna have to be some walls and some ramps, to uh, some things to just stop that. This area was never supposed to be this big. Um, okay, so been on for two hour, two and a quarter hours now and that's, that's enough. Um, this will be a glass wall. Uh, we need to. So yeah, I'm gonna do a, a couple more practices, and then I'm gonna. Oh, we need to get rid of that. And then I'm gonna ask Don to um, to give me another tutoring session and tidy this up a little bit and work on some some entities. Want to do some more work now? This this won't move anymore because I I sort of broke it. But I want to sort of get back into getting that to work. Um, so yeah, so oh, lucky. So that's it. We like the lighting in here. It's still a bit too bright, isn't it? Maybe, maybe I need to do something else. I just thought that those corners finished off the uh, angles quite nicely. Those supports probably need to be made smaller. They're just too big, aren't they? Um, and yeah, so kind of happy. Not too happy about how I've lost my glass windows. Well, my windows, sorry, my glass windows. That was supposed to be like a neat little feature. Maybe we'll have to do something down here. All right. Yeah. So that's it. So I finished for today. Done another two and a bit hours. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm calling this you know LDA practice number 12 because I want to start numbering them and uh, that's it I haven't got anything else to say I'm tired now I f actually find this quite hard it's quite hard streaming and mapping I mean maybe when you're like really good at it then then it's easy but you're trying to think you're trying to and then you're trying to talk and but I'm really enjoying it and as I sort of tweeted last night uh, this morning, sorry, that now that I see myself as a mapper, you know, my dreams last night were all about the, this map and about the windows and about the ramps, and I really had a bad night, <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm a bit worried that that's what's going to be my life now, it's all going to be just these, you know, all of these mapping issues, uh, I hope not, anyway, that's it, thanks for watching, remember, Level Design Academy, helping you to take Half-Life to new levels. Thanks for watching. See ya.